welcome to Eat, Drink, and Be Scary, a podcast where we watch scary movies and then rant about them while sometimes eating and always drinking. I'm one of your hosts, Ashley. And I am Bradley. And we wanted to give you kind of a baseline for who we are and why you should listen to us talk about scary movies. So today we're going to be going over movies we love, like our horror movies that we're just like, yes, this is it. I love this. Um, so you get a good read on who we are in terms of our tastes. And then also the movies that actually scare us. So you'll know what episodes will be really amusing. And we decided to do this podcast because I also have another podcast called I Love This Podcast. And Ashley came on uh, as basically an honorary co-host um, for just random episodes. But it kind of turned out the uh, episodes that were most popular with she and I were our movie reviews. Um, particularly, my uh, second most popular episode is our It Chapter 2 review. Which is nearly so, as long as the movie. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> So I've, you know, figured it'd be a good idea for us to just go back, watch some of our favorite horror movies and maybe some we haven't seen yet and just kind of rant about them like we do best. We do. It is definitely a very a good skill that we possess. So I'm so curious what your like, so what your favorite scary movies are going to be or the ones that you just love, because all mine are really kind of cheesy. So I think it shows that I'm a cheesy person. <laughs> so lay it See, on me, B. Yeah, I was going to say, see, mine are, <laughs> there are some genuinely scary movies, um, but they are, like you said, kind of cheesy. Maybe not necessarily cheesy, but they aren't your full-on typical horror movie. So um, I don't want to do these in any particular order, because otherwise we probably would never get this done. <laughs> so I will just True. say them in the order I wrote them. Um, so my first one is actually Drag Me to Hell. Um, really? Because, yes. Okay. Uh, we might do that one one day, Should but I just that one. I, I haven't watched that in a long time. Yeah, you'll you'll be you'll you might see a trend. I kind of like my uh, my horror comedies, but also more emphasis on the horror than the comedy. Yeah, <laughs> well, well, you'll see. So, the, in terms of straight up horror, I actually put the um, not even a remake, but the uh, reboot rather of Evil Dead. It is it's pretty brutal. That's and, but it's still so fun. That's yeah. Fine. <laughs> I've been trying to get Ash to watch it. Well, we might well, have to throw I it have the agreed list. to watch it. <laughs> um, and then just, this is just a classic. Uh, I put Alien. Of course, a lot of people, yes. A lot of people argue it's a sci-fi movie. It's a horror movie first and foremost. Yeah, that should also give a, a good line for people that our definition of what is horror is going to be extremely broad. Yeah, and It could exactly. be horror tied with other genres and it's still going to be horror. Yes, um, and then I also put uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, in my opinion. It's the okay. best one. Yeah. Um, also the most fun. Um, yeah. And last but not least, this is actually a... I actually really like the original and the remake equally, so I'm going to include kind of both of them. Um, and that's Fright Night. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's a really good point where I like both pretty... Like, they're both very good. Yeah, I, I will... I will put on one, and if not that same day, if not the next day, I will put on the, the next one. So <laughs> It's yeah. almost like a sequel. D exactly. Yeah. Okay, well. Let's hear yours. I think it's really important that you said that you liked the reboot of Evil Dead, because my first one is the original Evil Dead. All right. I. It's funny, actually. I saw Army of Darkness first. That's actually the first of those movies that I saw. But then when I saw the original Evil Dead, it's just so absurd. And I love it. <laughs> and it's still really... I mean, it's very creepy, but it's also just like you are you just don't know if it's taking itself seriously or not. And that's what I love. Mm -hmm. um, also, Trick or Treat. Oh, I yes. adore that movie so much. And I love Sam. And I love just the lore around it. There's no other Halloween anthology movie that's like it. Uh, but I only let myself watch it during October because otherwise, like, the magic will be lost because I'd watch it too much. Mm, uh, also, yeah. uh, The Lost Boys. Oh, damn. Which is not quite a horror... Like, that's the one where I'm like, it's not quite a horror movie, but I, I remember the first time I saw it, I was kind of freaked out. So I'm going to count it. The the campfire scene, scene scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. So Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the next one is What Lies Beneath, mm. which we'll be talking about. And I have mm -hmm. hilarious stories around that movie. Uh, and then the last one actually took me a bit to think about, but it's, it's Scream. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Because it reminds me that I really like when my horror is smart and self-aware uh, was definitely a piece of it. So I think that's a pretty good, you know, it's all these movies where 
there's a little bit of drama, a little bit of humor, a little bit of weirdness going on. Um, and I really enjoy sarcasm because that plays a role in most of those movies. And I feel like that was probably the first full on, you know, meta horror film too. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm glad that none of our, our picks kind of overlapped at all. Except Although we for... have competing evil deads. Yeah. So, but I, yeah. <laughs> but that is to be expected. Yeah, exactly. All right. What are your movies that's actually scare you? All right. So um, I can only come up with four without... without stretching a, it. Yeah, the stretching it or going on a very long deep dive. And yeah, as we would have just taken forever for me to do my list. Um, you're going to notice a theme in the first two. Um First one being Jaws. Uh, firstly, sharks, obviously. Uh, secondly, um, off the top of my head, I can't remember what it's called, but I have a I have a pretty big fear of open water where you you know can't see any land and there's nothing for you to grab onto. Like that just terrifies me. Um, which is a great segue into the second movie, which I still really enjoy watching, and that's Sphere. Right, we've talked um, about how much we both like that movie. <laughs> yes. Uh, Again, not a full-on horror movie. It does lean into the science fiction realm. But again, if it scares me, I am going to consider it a horror movie. Again, Agreed. Because, yeah, again, because of the open water thing, even though they're confined. But they're at the bottom of the freaking ocean. And that's pretty claustrophobic and scary. Yep. Um, the Exorcist, not because of... Um, not because of, like, possession. Like, possession movies don't necessarily scare me. But just how effective the movie is... In general, I mean, it's hailed as one of the scariest movies of all time for a reason, I feel. Um, and again, here's my overlap, uh, and that's Alien. It does still scare me mm-hmm. um, to this day. Like, I, you know, I'm, even though I know what to expect, I'm, I'm still, you know, uh, white knuckling it on, on certain scenes. So, Yep, I totally understand how you feel about that. Having just rewatched the first three of... Four? I don't know. We watched a bunch of them. I think you watched all four of them. <laughs> I think we did. We did watch all four of them, and then now we're gonna watch Alien versus Predator. So oh, okay. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, okay. That... So mine. Uh, you'll also see a bit of a theme, at least with my first two. Uh, so Paranormal Activity. Mm-hmm. That I nothing has ever scared me like that movie. Genuinely, um, I've never seen any of the sequels. We'll never do that. Like, one and done. I'll probably never watch that movie again. I'm out. Um, if we if we do that episode, if we ever cover that in an episode, I will tell you the full story of Ashley and Paranormal Activity. Okay. Uh, the other one is, is one of our overlaps, which is The Exorcist. Mm, okay. And for me, it is because I'm afraid of possession and all of that. But uh, <laughs> one of the last times I watched that movie, uh, I walked out of a room in the dark and there was a shadow on the wall that looked like a face and I screamed. Oh, no. <laughs> because yeah. it was just like the, you know, in the movie now when they have that fade out and you like see the demon. It was like mm. that and I screamed. Um, <laughs> so I watched that movie very carefully because even though I know everything that's coming and I've read the book, doesn't matter. It's still scary. Um, and my last one is The Ring, which... I have not watched The yeah. Ring in years. I actually went and saw the sequel in theaters. That is not usually how I operate with things that scare me. Uh, but it's just the <laughs> idea that like there are televisions everywhere. Yeah. Right. Um, so I think it's the idea of the of you know Smart always has access to you, <laughs> which <laughs> might be a bit out. of a metaphor there. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, so that movie always really freaked me out. Uh, but I haven't watched it in a really long time. So I wonder if it would still scare me now or if it's been built up in my head so much, you know, that it's me that's scaring me, not the movie anymore. It it definitely has some pretty unnerving scenes. Uh, um, uh, yeah, looking back on it, looking back on it, it is a little bit on the, um, it's very broody and not necessarily in a good way for a horror movie. Uh, See, that's what I liked about it. There was all this weird stuff and the color palette of the movie really appealed to me. It's like I I oh, liked yeah. it. I just didn't want it to scare me. And, you know, the movie <laughs> one, it scared me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember seeing that in the theater. And he, uh, <sighs> like my buddy next to me was BSing with someone behind him because he wasn't into the movie. And right as he turned around is when they find somebody in the closet looking all messed up. And he <laughs> damn near jumped out of his seat. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure the first time I saw that at home, there was screaming. Because <laughs> here's the thing about me. When it comes to most jump scares or moments like that i am the perfect audience 
I will gasp. I will scream. I will react because I love to be like what I like about scary movies is being in the moment and feeling afraid. It's the movies that Mm -hmm. make me feel scared after they're over that I don't like. That's when I'm done in the moment. Terrify me. That sounds (laughs) great. But I want to know when it's done that it's done and I can move on. It's very important. See, I'm I'm someone if it's if it's a jump scare movie, like I, I, I will jump um, and I won't. But I don't make noises or anything like that. But in terms of movies like Evil Dead that are very brutal, I will start letting some expletives fly and <laughs> making, you know, sighing noises and inhaling and all that. So apparently I don't like watching people in pain because that's what really gets me. <laughs> yeah. Understandable. Understandable. Yeah. So I think that's a pretty good gauge of, of who we are and potential movies that will that we will pick to watch. Yes. Um, and this was also just um, something to listen to in the week or so leading up to uh, the first episode, just so you guys can already be subscribed and ready to go and you know don't have to seek anything out for when the first episode drops, which we're hoping won't be uh, too long after you hear this. And do you want to tell them what our first episode is going to be? Yes, our first episode is going to be 1997's Event Horizon. So definitely falling into that horror sci-fi category. Yes. I. But I think I, we probably like more than we realized until we started talking about this. Uh, yeah, right. Um, I did want to include that on my top five, but I left it out kind of for this reason because we're going to be covering it in depth. Um, and again, apparently I like my, my sci-fi horror, which that strangely there is not enough of. So. Yes, I agree. Never enough sci-fi horror. Yes. Nothing is more uh, terrifying than space. <laughs> no one can hear you scream, you scream yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh it's gonna be full of things like that coming up i can feel it it is but it's a good intro for us in case you haven't listened to any of our previous episodes and are new to the to our brad nashley shenanigans yes and um i will do the whole uh linking to our previous movie reviews um even the non-horror ones like uh star wars so oh yeah <laughs> if you guys want to go back and listen to those uh, ahead of time it can be caught up on how we are when we review our movies uh, before the first one so yeah all right well then until next time be your scary best <laughs>